We're here at Lola's, a taste of Old New Orleans in Charleston, South Carolina with Cajun and Creole cuisine. I guarantee you're gonna have a good time. Let the good times roll. Let's go on in. I'm a Charleston native. I love to go on cruises, travel to amazing places, and enjoy local cuisine. This is local Charleston. Situated in the heart of Park Circle in North Charleston, you'll find Lola. What once started as a humble food truck in 2010, it finally became a brick and mortar location in 2016. Soon after, they became one of the Low Country's top food destinations and serving some of the best Cajun and Creole cuisine around. The service in this restaurant is excellent. You will want for nothing and they will be at your table plenty of times to make sure that you are well taken care of. If you want to dine inside, however, seating is a premium, so be sure to make a reservation. I made mine on the Resi app. They are definitely trying to go for a New Orleans vibe in here with lots of posters, artwork, and plenty of samplings of the Big Easy. The bar is already hopping, serving delicious cocktails, which you can enjoy inside or outside. The atmosphere here is definitely fun, relaxed, and vibrant. And one thing you really want to note, this place is definitely dog friendly. Look at this pampered pooch. Lola provided him with fresh water, but his daddy is the one with the snacks. To the side of the building we find this wide tented area with plenty of tables for seating. So don't worry if you can't sit inside, you can sit outside in the shade. Under this awning we find plenty of bar stools if you want to have a drink or maybe a bowl of gumbo. And even more seating on this other side with these nice covered picnic tables. Lolo's received a ranking from Forbes magazine as number 22 in the nation, and I believe it. Time to start our food adventure with a cocktail. This is their Spice Peach Margarita with tequila, Carolina peach cider, lime, honey, and a cinnamon sugar rim. It was nicely tart and refreshing. And of course, nothing says New Orleans like a hurricane. This is their Captain Matt's Hurricane with silver rum, gold rum, passion fruit, orange, lime, and grenadine. It was sweet and fruity and definitely boozy. Now I started off with gumbo and this is supposed to be a cup of gumbo. And look at that, that's not a cup, that's a bowl. They do have bowls of gumbo, but I can't imagine how big that is. I opted for the dirty rice at a nominal charge, and I went ahead and got them separately. Normally the rice is on the top, but I wanted to be able to show you what's in that gumbo. As you can tell by the spoon, they give you plenty of ingredients. Look at all that, there's shrimp, there's andouille sausage and crawfish on there. They definitely give you plenty. And as you can tell by the steam, it definitely arrived piping hot. Here we see their buffalo fried oysters. They were fried to perfection, nice and crisp, and look how plump they are. There's no small oysters in this basket. Now in one cup you have this chunky blue cheese sauce, and the other that spicy buffalo sauce. And I would highly recommend to take your oysters, of course squirt them down with some fresh lemon, and then dunk them in each container. My wife thoroughly enjoyed these. She said they weren't the least bit chewy, and the batter is just the way you like it, nice and thin so you can really enjoy the taste of the oyster. For my entree, I went with the shrimp and crawfish etouffee. Once again, I opted to get their special dirty rice. I don't like just plain white rice with dishes, and their dirty rice is really, really good. Lots of scallions in there, lots of spices. It really added to the etouffee. Now, I didn't mention this before when talking about the gumbo, but I wanna let you know about the spice level on here. They got it down perfect. You get that nice spicy heat without you feeling like your mouth is on fire. 
The portion size of this was so big, I got three meals out of it. Now I want you to look at how huge this shrimp basket is. It is just overloaded with shrimp. This place definitely does not send you home hungry. The basket comes with their Creole fries and their famous praline pecan cornbread. We'll talk a little bit more about that later on. They offer a variety of things to dip it in. You can get roumelade, Creole tartar sauce, cocktail sauce, honey mustard sauce, or honey jalapeno sauce. This is their roumelade sauce. It's the same sauce they put on their po' boys. It was very tasty. My wife also got the Cajun tartar sauce, which he said had a nice heat level to it. Much like the oysters, these shrimp were lightly battered, nicely fried, and not the least bit chewy. Now this is one of the stars of the show, their praline pecan cornbread. It was sweet and crunchy with a cake-like texture. As a pro tip, I would say get some of this to go. It's only $2 for two pieces of cornbread. You won't regret it. Behind the restaurant serving as the kitchen is the humble food truck they started out with. Have a business or a special event? Don't worry, Lola does full catering. So if you're in Charleston and you're hungry to get some South in your mouth, definitely go to Lola and enjoy some delicious, wonderful Cajun and Creole cuisine. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and follow. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps to grow the channel. And we put out one of these videos once a week. And as always, thanks for watching.